Welcome back everyone. Today I wanna to show you some sleeping positions to allow you to have a better night's sleep and reduce lower back pain. If you already have lower back pain at the moment, these positions are gonna reduce lower back pain and also prevent lower back pain in the future. It's also gonna reduce the likelihood that you might develop scoliosis, so the twist in the spine, since you're gonna be spending about a third of your life sleeping. So if you're sleeping in the wrong position for a third of your life, you can develop some adaptive change. These sleeping positions have helped a lot of people like myself, my friends and family, and my patients. I hope that they help you as well. Stomach sleeping. Let's start off on how you shouldn't sleep at all. Sleeping in your stomach is probably one of the most detrimental ways to sleep. And there's no real benefit on sleeping in your stomach. The position places your face straight into your pillow and not allowing you to breathe. Usually, the only reason you'll probably do this is you're frustrated with your life and you just want to scream into your pillow. But if you want to sleep, you probably need to turn your head to one side. Now, by being in a restricted motion for a few hours or the whole time you're sleeping, it can predispose you to have wry neck or torticollis. And that can cause neck pain because your cervical spine is stuck in a rotated position for hours on end. And this can even cause you to have headaches in the daytime due to the tight muscles. If this develops into a habit and you tend to turn your head to a preferred side when you're sleeping, this will slowly cause tightness in the muscles in the neck on one side and possibly even cause scoliosis in the long term, which is a curve in your spine that you don't really want. In this position, your breathing will be a lot more shallow since your lungs will now be working against your body weight to push your body weight up as you inflate your lungs. This will cause you to contract the wrong breathing muscles such as the scalenes and the upper trapezius muscles. If these muscles get tight, it can press up against the nerves in the neck and cause pain and tingling down the arms. And that's another issue that you need to address as well just because you're not sleeping in the right position. The most problematic thing about this position is your lumbar spine stooping down into your mattress whilst you're lying down on your tummy. This is because the weight of your abdomen slowly presses down into the mattress, causing your back to go into extension throughout the night. This can cause more back pain, especially if you already have lower back injuries. If you do this for years on end, you can create adaptive change in your posture as you sleep, and gradually cause facet syndrome, anterior hip tilt, and even lower back pain. Back sleeping. This is probably the best go-to way to sleep on your back. However, when you do lay down, depending on how soft your bed is, the weight of your legs may be pressing downwards and this can cause your hips to go into anterior hip tilt. Therefore, making your lower back to go into lumbar extension. If you already suffer from lower back pain, this will cause you to have more lower back pain. So if you think this is the cause of your lower back pain, or you are suffering from lower back pain, try placing a pillow under your legs. This will elevate your legs higher and create posterior hip tilt and make your lower back go into a more neutral position or flatten it out a little bit, providing you a bit of relief. If you still don't feel like you're getting any relief, you can always add an extra pillow to raise up your legs even more. So that way it flattens up your back a little bit more. This will reduce the tension from the legs that are created from the gravity pulling down your spine, your muscles, and even your nerves. So if you have a disc bulge or sciatic pain, this might be the position you would like to try to help with the pain and reduce the pain in the lower back and reduce the sciatic symptoms. I found that using a Dutchman's bolster pillow is more effective to keep my legs in place since it's longer and firmer. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get them. This bolster is also effective to use for decompression techniques as well for lower back pain, which I show in my other videos. I'll put a link in the description box below for the decompression video. Side sleeping. Side sleeping is one of the most natural positions for sleeping. Some professionals even call it the fetal position since you look like a position that a baby would be in in an expecting mother. However, as we get older, our limbs get a lot longer and our body can twist and turn in the middle of the night, even if we start off in a perfect sleeping position. 
Sometimes the legs may move forward or even back. This will create torsion and rotation in the lower back, which is the lumbar spine. By causing rotation in the spine for a long period of time, and if you develop a habit on sleeping on a preferred side, you will create either more mobility on one side or stiffness on the opposite side of the lower back. The lower back can then possibly be locked up or even cramped up due to the long duration that it, some of these areas are being compressed and tightened throughout the night. The easiest way to combat the twisting is to place a pillow under your leg that moves too far in front of you causing your body to twist. This will reduce the twisting in the lower back and create some support for that leg that has no support. However, most health professionals and chiropractors recommend you to place a soft pillow between your legs when you sleep. The soft pillow will mold itself in the position that your legs are in and stop your legs from twisting and moving too far apart whilst giving you some support. The lower back can also stoop down as well on the side, replicating a side bend in the lower back. This will cause the lower side, the side that's on the bed, to be slightly stretched and the other side to be slightly compressed, shorting the muscles on that side. So if you're already suffering from lower back pain, being in this asymmetrical position can cause you to have scoliosis and even more lower back pain. This stooping of the lower back is more prevalent with people that have old mattresses that have lost their firmness or mattresses that are too soft. So to support the lower back from stooping, just add a soft pillow between your rib cage and your hip bone. This will help support the lower back and reduce the possibility that you will roll over backwards or forwards and twist your spine in the middle of the night. Why not have a pillow between your thighs and your lower back? This will create a nice neutral spine for most of the night when you're sleeping. A neutral spine is a spine that is straight as possible with the natural curves in the most supported and comfortable position. Most people do move a little bit throughout the night, so that's quite normal, but we want to restrict you from going back into your natural habits, for example, laying in your tummy or on your side or in a twisted position to prevent you from getting any lower back pain or even injuries in the future. That's why we use some pillows. Some of my patients prefer using a dedicated memory pillow for side slipping to help them stay in the position to support their legs. This pillow has two grooves to allow the space of your legs to be in. You can either put it in your lower legs or between your thighs, whatever you're most comfortable with. And it's a memory pillow, so therefore it does have some sort of give to it and mold into your natural curves and grooves of your legs. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get them. A research paper was published by BJ Open in 2019 on three sleeping postures. The research found that most symptoms of pain were coming from the neck and the lower back and sometimes the whole back. And it also found that the side lying position seemed to be the most protective for lower back pain. I highly recommend you find the right position for you, be it on your back or even on your side. But most importantly, don't sleep on your stomach that is probably the worst position you can be in since it causes neck pain and even lower back pain and even breathing problems as well once again guys thanks for watching i really want you to join my vip facebook group i want to build a community there where you can ask questions and i'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible there'll be other health professionals in there as well to help you out now, if you found this video helpful, there could be a likelihood that you have lower back pain that's caused by the SIJ joint. Do these exercises, they're definitely gonna help you with lower back pain, hip pain, or even SIJ joint pain. Now, if you do have pain running down the leg, there could be a chance that you do have a sciatica or suffering from a, some sort of disc bulge or nerve impingement that's causing pain to radiate down your leg. So check out my sciatica test video that video will help you diagnose or give you some sort of idea of what you're going through and that way it will give you a direction of where you need to go to seek help remember to support my channel hit subscribe hit like comment below if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next one